Hello everyone, this is Gautam Maya and uh, I have another demo project for you on C2000 and Simulink interface. So this is basically it is equivalent to that of uh, the out of the box demo that comes up with the launchpad uh, F28379D. And uh, what I've done over here is like uh, uh, this example basically consists of three peripherals, one peripheral being different from that of out of the box. So we have ADC, V2 comparison, and uh, we have toggling LEDs. But we transmit data through CAN and not SCI or UART. So uh, uh, let me just explain the flow. Uh, we have an ADC configured, which is uh, uh, channel A0, that is ADC INA0, that we have con uh, configured at uh, a sampling time of around 0.5, that is 500 milliseconds. Uh, we Compare this uh, ADC, it's, it's been con configured as 12 bit single ended. So uh, the max value for 3.3 .3 would be 4096, right? So we have a comparison blocks wherein we compare whether if it's less than or equal to 2048 or greater than 2048, and then we take actions. So if it is less than or equal to 2048, we toggle the blue LED, right? So we toggle the blue LED on the launch pad. If it is greater than 2048, we toggle red LED, the launch pad. Secondly, uh, at the same time, uh, the output of the comparator is 1 or 0. So, for example, if this condition is satisfied, we get a 1. If this condition fails, we get 0. So, um, just making use of that, what I've done is I've given the output of the comparator to the product. So, wherein 234 is just a random value which denotes blue LED. And for example, uh, it, it's the if it, so, for example, if the ADC value or the sample value is less than your mid value, that is 1.5, 1.65 or 2048, uh, you have 234 as the data for blue LED. At the same time, you have 468 for red LED. It's just a random value, so you can have any kind of a value to just differentiate between the two CAN values that we receive, right? So, uh, we have 234 for blue LED. So, it, it, it gets multiplied by 1. So, for example, if, uh, if this condition fails, 234 will be multiplied by 0 and you will get a data of 0, right? So if, if this condition passes, what we get as data is 234. Similarly for red LED, so whenever it's more than 1.65, 468 would be multiplied by 1 to get the CAN data. So it's uh, when you see the configuration of various blocks, I've configured ADC IN0, channel A. And uh, it's a 12-bit uh, single-ended input, and I've used CPU timer zero uh, to trigger the ADC at 500 millisecond sample time. And uh, if you see the blue LEDs as per the schematic that we have, uh, if you see the schematic of the launch pad, GPIO 34 is for the red LED, GPIO 31 for blue LED. So. Both of the GPIO blocks have been configured some accordingly. And then we have product wherein we take these two and our CAN wherein we have. So in launchpad, CAN B is what is configured with the transceiver. So we have the message identifier. It's just again uh, just a random value that I've set. Then now I'll show you what CAN messages I get as I've already recorded the video for the launchpad. Uh, and that would be the second video that you can go through. But this one is with my CANmate. So CANmate is uh, my CAN interface wherein this is the software for the kit. And uh, now you can see, for example, if now the blue LED is blinking, so which means that uh, the ADC value is less than 2048 or less than the mid value. So let's start the reception. Okay, so you can see, right? So it's, it, it, it's giving me a value of EA. EA means two. It's uh, 234. If you just convert the hex into decimal, EA is 234. So now let me just give the ADC 3.3. We have a pin for 3.3 over here. So yes, now I can see the red blinking. And you can see a new value, right? 1D4. So 1D4 is... Uh, it's around 468 yeah 468 is the 
you know, decimal value for 1d4. So that's as expected, right? And the moment I remove it, it's back to zero. So it's, it's less than 2048. Now you're getting EA again. So, so I hope you understood the, what this experiment was all about. And just instead of using a serial port and then getting the data on the terminal app, I instead used CAN. I transmitted to CAN. I had a CAN dongle through which I got the data to the CANmate application. Uh, thank you so much.